eighth inning off the bat, Greg Bird, do you think that that's a grand slam right there? Uh, yes, I did. I was really proud of him. He was uh, prepared for the situation that we wanted him in and good at bat right there. And it's just kind of been the last couple of weeks for him right there. He's The balls that he has hit hard have kind of been caught, but uh, encouraged by the bat quality. I know you used both Walker and Bird as pinch hit options in that inning. Did you guys go into today saying that it was a no day for Stanton, or was he available? No, he was available, but we were going to make sure that it was to either win the game or, and we, you know, thought the matchup was good for Birdie right there. If we would have got to Higgy in the ninth, uh, G probably would have hit right there. Bart, today, Bart, if you don't mind, just talking a little bit into the mic. There sorry. you go. Thank you. Go ahead, Jack. Today was a struggle for Lance Lynn. He faced 20 batters, 10 of them reached base. What's your assessment of what you saw from him? You know, I think that, you know, we liked the matchup as far as the sinker today, and, and it seemed like, uh, you know, it was getting a little bit of the plate, and, you know, the balls they threw down and in were seeming to get down the third baseline, and a couple of the balls that Reyes blocked down the third baseline. So, again, um, you know, rough day for him, but, uh, you know, we believe in him a lot, and he's going to be a big part of this thing moving forward. I know this is not your decision, but Brian Cashman is fond of saying everyone is constantly evaluated. Do you think with Lynn's struggles in his last four, the ERA is over nine, that the next time that rotation spot comes around, there'll be some discussion about what you guys it's, have to do? I just think what we try to do here is put guys in the best possible you know, w matchup and, and the best possible way to succeed. So when we get to that point, we'll see. Dan to the left. Going with uh, Tarpley there in the ninth, with after uh, you know after a little bit of the rally, was there any discussion with going with you know someone else in the bullpen? Who I mean, we if we would have got to within you know two, we were talking about going to Greeny right there, but you know with leverage right there, and you know we want him to get his feet wet and get out there. And, and to be honest with you, I think he gave up you know four ground balls and and a line drive. So at the end of the day, you know we we were trying to reset our bullpen a little bit today because we've been riding those guys pretty hard and. Partly because we've been winning a lot of games, you know. Wally. Josh, just to clarify on uh, the decision to use Bird there in, in the eighth inning, because um, that would have put it, that was a go-ahead mm -hmm. at bat there. Was that basically a matchup decision? Yes. And I think that there was a little bit of we were trying to give G a day. And, you know, at the end of the, if, if we would have had a matchup that we really, really liked for G, he probably would have hit there. But we liked the matchup there, and, and Birdie hit the ball hard. Susan. Um, Greg has had really no results, but has hit the ball really hard for the last, at least the last week. How, how do you keep the confidence up when you don't have the results there? I just think that for him, he's got to keep fighting. You know, I mean, this is the big leagues, and, and you know, Luke's really been productive, and we're going to try to pick our spots to, to find areas for both of them, and I think that the at-bat quality has been better for Birdie, and, and so I hope he takes that in his encouragement, um, but he's going to have to fight for it. All the way to the left, Dave. Josh, did you was, was uh, Green up at the one point? Yes, it, it was okay. Was anybody else up at that point, or just him, Green? Just, just Green and Tarpley, and okay. down, you know, down three in the ninth, we're not going to bring in one of our high leverage guys. Julio in the middle. Uh, how do you evaluate Echeverria's defense today? Uh, I thought he was great. Yeah, I mean, I think that he's going to be a huge, huge part of what we're going to do here, and I think that you know, last yesterday. He doesn't touch the ball and we win the game because he's in the game because we can put, you know, waiter at second and then we can move guys over and GT goes to second, makes a great play yesterday. So he's he's a big part of this. Anyone else? Jack. Josh, you guys have been a dominant team at home this year, second best record in the major leagues. You finished this home stand three and four. What did you think about the way you guys played across the last week? You know, I think it was frustrating because, uh, you know, we coming in against Detroit, you know, it's a team that really chases a lot and we had a we had a hard time expanding on them. And, and if you look at it, they didn't really, you know, hit a bunch of home runs and stuff, but they kind of singled us to death and, and we had a hard time as far as getting that. But, you know, it's it's part of the ebbs and flows of the season and we got to get ready for the flight across country and get ready to go tomorrow. Anyone else? Wally, yes. Josh, just out of curiosity, when did you find out you were managing today, and uh, what was the experience like considering the kind of game it turned out to be? Uh, yesterday, and, you know, it, it's really no different. I mean, our process, you know, stays the same, and, and uh, so, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Josh. Thanks.